So I was watching a whatnot streamer the last night. Uh, he was in California. Um, you learn a lot about him because he's on stream. I've always kind of wondered uh, why do I see so many whatnot streams? They always have like seven people, 10 people. This guy had, I think 25 at most, and at least he's got like 10. And it's because they make so much money from dumb people, everybody buying. So the, the, the mystery bag, so it's a mystery box or pack or whatever he calls it. And the ceiling is, I don't know what the ceiling is, a few thousand. Uh, the floor is $65 and the average is $240. So he has 65 packs. So you have, there's 10 golden tickets again. And then there's like other good hits in there supposedly as well. So let's call it 15 good hits out of 65 packs. And uh, after 15 people purchase packs, everyone got the floor. So they paid anywhere between 220 and 280 for a $65 retail um, that I can easily get for $25. So I, as a person who has rights to a distributor from Weiss, I can get it for $25. Um, but this is the same with sports cards, it's the same with magic cards, the same with everything. Um, it is criminal what these people are doing with their mystery packs, right? The probability, so if you have 15 good hits, right? 10 golden tickets and five other good hits that you've said, like the uh, a beta or maybe a $2,000 card, then how come 15 people in a row have just hit the bottom? The probability of that happening is astronomical. As somebody who plays gotcha a lot, I know eventually the gotcha game has to give me the unit. Uh, after maybe 10, 15 multi rows, I'm going to get it. Here, the odds are actually much better. So in Gotcha, it, the odds are maybe 1% to get a SSR, right? So you, you do 10, 15 multi rows, you're gonna get one because you that's how the odds work, that's fair. But in, um, in Whatnot Land, it seems like no one for their life, even a Simply Unlucky came into the stream, you know, tried his luck and he got the minimal too. If Simply Unlucky, one of the biggest Yugi tubers is buying into your break. You think that, okay, of all the people that should get a hit, this guy will get a hit. Nothing. So I'm watching this break. I'm kind of like thinking in the back of my mind, how is this feasible? Like, why is this guy on for like eight hours a day, right? It's because he's making, so if you're selling $65, your floor is $65, okay? And that, that to me means you pay $25 for it, maybe $30, call it $30. And you're on average selling your mystery packs for 240. Every single mystery pack before fees, you're making $210, $220, $250 straight up. So you don't actually need, I mean, this guy has been on for hours and he's selling one mystery pack an hour. Well, that's $200 an hour for him. I mean, what other job can you do that you're just, you know, so that's why there's so many uh, whatnot stream. I mean, one of the questions I always ask is, hey man, like how can a whatnot stream have five people on it? And why are they still operational after like 15 hours? Like, like wouldn't that person just give up? And the answer is no, because if you're making $200 profit by essentially ripping off your customers, well, how many times do you have to sell that? If you want to work at McDonald's, if you sell even one pack in your eight hour stream, you made more money, in my opinion, scamming than you did um, at McDonald's. So that's why everyone's doing whatnot now. Even if they have straight, even if they have 20 people on uh, and they sell one of these things every 20 minutes, which isn't that great. I mean, the guy sold 15 and he was very unentertaining. And at no point, you know, I said, hey, I will buy into this. I will buy in big if I see something good pulled. And no, no one could pull anything. Because, you know, what happens? And then the next stream, he said, oh, I'm going to charge more than $240 because there's so many golden tickets and stuff. And if you pull the bottom, he gives you, he throws you in a lottery that never happens because the tickets never ever sell out. This is like absurdity. This is like next level um, absurdity, right? And I guess what not allows this because every stream I go on is the same format. It's, you know, a mystery pack. They love these mystery packs, right? I wonder why. And these people are getting hosed. Like, you know, like, um, for instance, $240, you know, instead of like doing one of those, like instead, you know, I just open a hundred packs of Crown Zenith. 
it's about this, or, or, the guy one of the guys ordered like 285 285 275 is what it cost me to buy 100 packs of crown zenith yes in 100 packs of crown zenith i am going to get much more value than i will have in this whatnot thing my jig right so I'm seeing, I'm seeing this whatnot guy go, and he's going on and on, and he's trying to pressure you into buying, right? He's adding cards in, he's taking cards out, you know, he's doing all the tricks and all the trades, right? And even Simply Unlucky gets you low. And it's just like, man, that's Simply Unlucky, my dude. And Simply Unlucky is like, goodbye. <laughs> he's like, nah, I don't know. And the guy's continuing to go, he's continuing to go. He's on the, the West Coast time, and he's going to say, he says, I don't know if he actually did this, he's going to go until like 4 a.m., and he has to work in the morning, but he's okay because uh, he makes more money doing this. Like, look, look, if you're just scamming people, right? Like, let's talk about Alpha Investment 6.9, whatever you think about that. Um, let's call, let's say, you know, I think it costs less than $50 to make those things. You can argue it um, with me, but that's my opinion. You have your opinion. You can leave in a comment below. Uh, definitely less than $100 to make, uh, for sure, less than 100 for him, for his cost shipped land delivered we're not talking about valuable cards we're not talking about like power nine we're talking about the cost of a promo that he printed cannot be that high even if they charge him for the promos and a match remember you also can get mats you're gonna get meta zoo mats in lieu of uh, any magic product in your magic slot it can be a redemption for five meta zoo play mats you're making at least six hundred dollars a box right that's more than some people make in a week. So the reason that um, the, the the whatnots and the, so like, I mean, it kind of blows my mind. Like I always go on whatnot and there's like magic streams and Pokemon streams, white streams, and especially the one piece. And um, they have like five or 10 or maybe 20 or 30 people watching, right? And I'm like, well, with such a low watch, uh, such a low viewer group, how are they making this much money? And they're making millions of dollars from doing this. Because let's say you make uh, $200 a pack that you sell, okay? Because you're a scammer and this is how you roll. And then the golden tickets aren't adding until the end. I made a video, a Pokemon streamer, they got caught live. His girlfriend actually put in the hit card when there was only like five or five packs.